welcome back to Weeby Kids Yoga. If this is your first time with us, please be sure to follow the link and check out our introduction to yoga with Weeby Kids. Just to be sure that you know what it's all about. As ever, please ensure you have plenty of space in which to practice, that you are wearing clothes you feel comfortable to move around in, and we only have one rule here. Please be kind to yourself. Yoga should never hurt. So remember there's only one of you and therefore it's really important to take care of yourself throughout your practice. Today we are going to be looking at the beautiful book and the story from A Forest by the picture book creator Mark Martin. We begin our session today as we always do with our hands in prayer position and Jali Mudra by the heart and with a greeting Namaste. So sitting up nice and tall and straight, shoulders down the back. After three, one, two, three, Namaste. Bringing ourselves up to a nice comfortable standing position. Spread out those toes on the mat. That's it. Bounce on your knees. Wriggle the hips. Standing up, move your spine in the upper area. Roll the shoulders and loosen off the arms. Wriggle the fingers. Stretch up nice and straight and tall. Imagine you have a balloon pulling you upwards to the very top of your head. Now, to our story today, a forest. There was once a forest. Lifting up onto the ball of your toes on one foot, and crossing it over your other standing foot so your knee goes out to the side. Raise your arms up to the sides to make a beautiful tree. Over thousands of years, the forest had grown into a thick, lush woodland. Bringing down your arms, lifting your foot back and down. We're going to do the same on the other side. Lifting up onto the ball of your toes, turning across your foot that is standing, knee out to the side, and lifting your arms to make some beautiful tree branches. Now then, if you have other people around you, you can see if you can balance and hold their hands on the side. And if you're doing it alone, don't worry, you're not really, because I'm here, so you can hold on to my hands across the universe of the internet. And when you're ready, lowering the arms and bringing yourself back into a standing position, rolling back and forward on your toes. Taking your feet a little bit wider, we're going to start with some breathing. One day, people started to cut down the forest. So we're going to become woodchoppers. So, taking your hands, bringing them to front of you, just like you're clapping them. Cross your fingers, except for the first finger, and cross your thumbs. This is going to be your axe. You're going to raise your axe above your head and chop ha! between your legs, as though you're trying to chop a big tree down. Again, ha! and up, ha! and up, one more, ha! And up, taking the arms back down. Now at first, they only cut down a little of the forest. Bring yourself down to a seated position with your legs out in front of you. Nice and straight with those legs, toes pointing up to the ceiling. At first, they only cut down a little and everything they took, they replaced. Reaching your fingers out to the side, bring yourself down onto your elbow and reaching over the top and to the side. You're going to take some of the forest with you, pulling it up, ah, and bring your arm back down. And now we're going to replace the forest, taking the arms forward and down to those toes. Try and get your belly onto the tops of your thighs. Reach for those toes and lowering the head. And back up and bringing the hands back to the sides. However, they soon became greedy, reaching those fingertips out to the side, leaning down onto the elbow if that's comfortable, 
and over the top with the other arm as you reach for some more forest. Oh, grab that forest and take it with you. Bring it back to the center. Put down your hands. And they took as much as they could from the forest. Bringing yourself back up to a standing position. They replaced all of the trees with buildings and factories. Taking those legs wide again, just wider than hip width and your arms out to the side to make a beautiful star shape. Now then, they built a city. Do you think we can build a city? What do they have in cities? Hmm. Well, they definitely have houses. We're going to make a house. House down. And they also have flats. Flats down. And they have, hmm, museums. Museum down. Factories. Factories down. Hmm. And they also have some wonderful galleries. Galleries down. Banks. Banks down and many shops. Shop, 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 shop. However, without the forest to make the air clean, it became thick and dirty. The air became so thick that a dreadful storm began to brew. Taking your body around to the sides as you spin those arms around your body. And you can be the clouds in the sky as they are stirring and brewing up a big storm. Tap around the back of your kidneys, across the back of your ribs, and now start to twist on the toe as well. Join in. And that's it. Bend the knee and twist on that outer toe. Oh, are you feeling dizzy now? Well, those clouds, they made a big storm and it started to rain very strongly. Taking your fingers, you're going to tap on your head and then you're going to tap down over your ears, down your neck, onto your shoulders, down your arms, start patting a little bit louder, down your body, down your, bringing your legs together onto your thighs and bend your knees down onto your shins. The rain was so strong that it washed the buildings away. So, turning to the side, putting your hands down in front of you, step back into a nice, comfortable dog and just walk the feet at the back. We're now going to become that fallen star shape. High on the toes, low. High on the toes, low. As our buildings and are washed away by the very strong rain. Lifting one leg up nice and straight behind. Bring it to your nose and then slide the foot through to the side. Twist the back foot and as you do so, your body will start to lift. And open up your arm across the top to be a beautiful fallen star. Bringing the arm back down. We're going to do the same on the other side. Bringing your foot back down into dog. You're going to walk the dog a little more. High, low, high, low. We're going to do exactly the same. Lifting your other leg this time up at the back. Bringing it to touch your nose. Slide it through at the front. Turn the back leg and raise your arms to be a fallen star. See if you can look at your top hand. Oh, good balancing. Coming back down. Lifting the leg up and down into dog. And walking your dog, stretching and coming down onto all fours. When the rain finally stopped, all that was left was one little tree. Coming down, feet together in a nice squat. We're going to be like a baby tree. So bringing ourselves up onto our toes, we are going to lift our arms to the side to make a little tree. Over time, that one tree became many trees, growing our tree, standing up nice and tall, raising our arms still. This time, coming up onto the tippy toes, turning that knee to the side as we lift 
to make our foot join to our calf just below the knee. Soon it became a forest. Placing the foot down, lifting on the balls of the other one. That's it. Raising just below the knee on the other side to make a beautiful forest that regenerates. Bringing our foot down, lowering our arms into prayer position. Bring ourselves down into a comfortable seated position now. We're going to have a short meditation. If you would rather lie down, please do so. Or if you want to kneel or sit somehow else, do what's best for you. Taking a moment to notice our breath. Breathing in and breathing out. Sometimes when we do physical practice like yoga, it can make us feel quite warm or quite tired. Rolling your shoulders back and down or making yourself comfortable wriggling on the floor. Taking another breath. And sighing it back out. If you feel comfortable to do so, you can close your eyes now. I'll keep mine open, just keep watch. Today, we're going to think about our planet and all the trees that are still on our planet. There are many, but we are learning that through our activities as human beings and our desire to be together with many other people and for work, we have cut down many of those vital life ecosystems. We have cut down those trees. Now it is time for us to replace those trees, to go back to the old ways where we take only what we need and we replace what we take and give back even more than what we take. Think to yourself, this is a beautiful concept. Taking only what we need in our everyday and giving back whatever we are capable of giving. It doesn't mean it has to be a physical thing like a tree because some of the best things that we can give are not measurable by a thing. Perhaps the best gift you can give is your time, your love, your attention, and your care. But maybe you can give back more than just what is needed or what you took. Take a moment now to consider that idea. Taking a nice, slow breath in and slowly breathing back out. Wriggling your fingers and your toes. Open your eyes if you need to. And bring yourself back up to a seated, comfortable position. I hope that you have enjoyed today's session. Take care. Bye from Weeby Kids.